Hey, 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 welcome to the Inferno. We are exposing the deceivers with truth. That's what it's about. So it seems to be pretty rampant right now. I'm coming to you January 2024. Today's episode 10 is about the smear campaign. So let's talk about what the smear campaign is that these toxic, low-down backsliders use against the people that they've earned their trust with, right? They've put this fake facade on to make you fall for them. They've moved fast. They're ready to start devaluing you. And that's what the smear campaign gets ramped up. So no matter who it is, what kind of relationship, which is a situationship that you may have been in with this toxic lowdown, either narcissist, just a toxic person, um, they're going to come in and swoop you off your feet. But the smear campaign can actually start happening right at the beginning when you first meet them. You just don't know about it. It'll start ramping up when they're ready to start devaluing you. And the whole purpose of the smear campaign is they know your worth. So they need to devalue you. They need to knock you down a few pegs. They need to do this so that they can make themselves feel bad, better for all the conniving, trifling, deceptive shit that they do. So they'll start amping up their smear campaign. They're, they're going to start telling their flying monkeys. That's a whole nother episode. I'm going to do that. What the flying monkeys are. This can be quote friends this can be family it's whoever will listen to their bullshit and it's a lot of lies it's a lot of smearing who you are and the reason they do this is to knock you down they know your worth they know your worth because if they didn't know your worth and they thought you were a piece of crap like they try to leave you uh, feeling like you are they wouldn't have to run their lying deceiving trifling little smear campaign on you so they'll start talking to people, they'll start gossiping to people about, you know, how crappy of a person you are, you know, I'm really concerned about her, she's crazy, she has trust issues, she has insecurities, and again, when I say she, you can replace that with he, whichever way, it doesn't matter, they all have the same damn playbook for whatever reason. So they're just going to start doing that, and they're going to start preparing their escape to slither off to their next supply and they'll amp up that smear campaign when they have that person in their sights. You're never the only one with these people, let's just face it, because they cannot get enough attention. They're empty, they're big black holes, they don't know their own identity because something went south when they were younger and so they're feeding off your energy. They do know your light, that's why they start smearing you. And again, like I said, they'll ramp that up when they're ready to make their, you know, quote, escape onto the next supply. The smear campaign can be ruthless, but once you realize what you're dealing with, this is a key to exposing the truth of what you've been deceived in, what you've been fooled in. And if you really pay attention to whoever this is you've been in a relationship with, situationship with, whether it be a coworker, quote, a friend, a significant other, there's no low to the bottom of these people. And if they're talking about other people to you, you can bet your sweet little ass they're talking about you too. So they smear everybody. I witnessed it. I had a gentleman come here. Um, that was dating my ex's mother and you know old school asking for her hand in marriage went to every one of her children to ask permission very nice and the minute that dude left this person i was with was smearing him she'll never marry him so there's a lot of dots connecting for me right now and so that smear campaign is to try to level you down to their level because they know your worth and they feel like shit inside. So in order for them to feel good, to level themselves up, they gotta try to bring you down. So that just goes to show you, they know your worth and they do know what they're doing. They're little backsliding, trifling pieces of shit is what they are. Let's not sugarcoat it. 
because being compassionate to these people is what got us in trouble. And a lot of us have stayed years with these people. So pay attention to that. Never defend yourself against this. Don't try reaching out to people that they have smeared you with because no matter what you say, whether it's the new supply, whether it's family, whether it's other flying monkeys that they call friends, they're not gonna believe it because this person has been smearing you probably from day one. It just amped up when they were ready to devalue you, discard you like you were a piece of trash on the highway and slither off to the next person. So what is the point of that? It's so that these people, especially if they've been married and they already are monkey branching or slithering off to their next supply, they have to do it to make themselves look better because they're just little lying, cheating, backstabbing creeps. They got to do it to you to make themselves look better to all the outside world when they move out of your home for however long y'all been living together or even just associating with them and they jump right into somebody else's house. So they have to do it. They have to do the smear campaign so that they can move on and say, see, that person was the problem. See, I'm over here being fake and happy. I'm posting on social media how happy I am. See, it was their problem. So if you've been smeared by one of these creeps, don't buy into it and don't try to defend yourself because chances are these people have been groomed. They've been running that smear campaign on you the whole time and it just amps up when they're ready to start devaluing you. You are worthy, you're unique. They can't replace you. You aren't replaceable to anybody. So again, don't try to defend yourself because most of these people haven't seen the true colors of who these backsliding little bamboos are. They do not. Baboons. So unless this is a really, this would be use your discretion on this. So if you have somebody that's been quote a mutual friend and they reach out to you and want to know what's going on. Personally, for me, I wouldn't say anything. I would just go no contact because you're, in the end, you're going to find out who your tr true friends are. These people haven't reached out to you and then all of a sudden they're reaching out to you wanting to get the latest, greatest on what's going on. Personally, for me, I wouldn't even explain yourself to those people because chances are they're going to go back and tell this toxic person you know, any information that you may have. So personally for me, I wouldn't do that. If you choose to do that, keep it real simple. Keep it yes and no's. Um, because ultimately at the end of the day, toxic narcissistic people, truth it irritates them worse than anything because they are deceivers. They lie, they lie, they lie. And the energy they, they put out there to keep lying and covering up lies with lies they just, they don't understand the laws of the universe. Eventually it is going to be exposed. So I'm going to defend myself with paper in the court system. I'm not going to bother trying to explain myself. And, you know, this is something too that strengthening who you are, because chances are you were a very confident person. And the longer you're with the narcissist, toxic person, they chisel away at your confidence by, <coughs> um, Oh, my daughter was texting me, sorry. They would chisel away at your confidence, especially the longer you're with them. If you don't catch on to these people being little deceivers, they will chisel away at your confidence. So when the smear campaign is first exposed to you, you may feel like you needed to defend yourself, but I would not, I, I would totally say don't do that. Start working on your own self, your own healing and building your own worth within you and knowing who you are. I'm bouncing back from this quickly because I do, you know, my awakening happened in 2014, um, took me to one of the lowest lows. And then when I got blindsided in May of 2023, well, my awakening happened originally in 2014. I don't know if I just said that wrong, but, and then I got another blindside and awakening in 2023. And it's, I don't know, seven, eight months. And I'm just tethering to God. I know my worth. I know that I'm a unique being. I know that I'm not replaceable. And in the society that we're living in, to be somebody who's in truth, to be somebody that is in integrity, to be somebody who lives in the heart space, 
you are a rare gem. So try not to defend yourself. Just know your worth because as you heal and process all of this, the better it will be. And your awareness goes to knowing the laws of God, the universe, which is we reap what we sow, what we put out there. <laughs> and so being a deceiver, you're a loser at the end of the day. One of the things I want to say, too, is um, they do this smear campaign to act innocent. And what they're trying to do is to reduce their opponent. Because if you're already starting in the smear cycle, the devalue cycle, and eventually the discard cycle, you are their opponent. But anytime you're in a situation with these people, you're their opponent. They're never... They never build together with people. And this is something that is now connecting within me because I used to say to this person that I was married to, um, I could always feel an undercurrent of resentment and I could never understand why. Like I was loving and uplifting and real and authentic. And if something needed to be brought to the table, I was not hesitant to speak it. And I could feel this level of resentment. And I was like, I remember more than once saying to this person, I am for you. I'm not against you. Why do you resent me? Because this person was never on an equal playing ground with me. They were a deceiver. Um, they were drawing off my life force energy. They were using me. I just wasn't aware of it. So now it makes sense to me. So they do this smear campaign and knocking you down and chiseling away at your confidence or trying to, to reduce you as their opponent. Because the more they get you under them, the more they feel elevated. It's, I'm telling you, they're a black fucking hole. So they do this to reduce you as a human being. A human being with feelings. A human being as an individual. They do it to reduce you. And for some sick ass reason in their little two year old brains and adult bodies, it makes them feel better. And we'll talk about this in another episode because I'm keeping these Inferno podcasts a little shorter is the flying monkeys that all uh, it's just like the Wizard of Oz you picture the Wicked Witch with all of her flying monkeys um, they just do whatever the witch says they believe whatever the witch says so the smear campaign is going to be <clears throat> not only believed by the new supply right oh my god my ex-wife was cheat she was cheating and she was um, untrustworthy and da, da 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 they will make up the most outlandish bullshit just to smear you so don't take it personal once you educate yourself on what you've been involved with you will see through it and you won't even feel the need to try to defend yourself because you got to know who you are right so just a couple of bible verses i'd like to share about this you know, it's the modern day slander. It's the smear campaign. They're doing it to, if you're in a relationship situation with them long term, they know your worth. They wanted to stuck around and used you for as long as they did if they didn't. So they have to make you look bad or crazy or insecure or whatever in order to immediately jump ship. And move in with somebody else. And they do this to make the outside world think, see, she was the problem. See, he was the problem. I'm over here with this new person, this new supply. Everything's so much better. No, the common denominator is this toxic narcissist. These backsliding fools. And you'll notice this with, with them as well. They may um, let go of addictions for a while and pretend like they're doing better, they all backslide. They backslide into the lying. They backslide into the addictions. They backslide into the cheating. They never stay equal. They're freaking chaos. Get rid of them if they don't get rid of you first. So Psalms 34, 14, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. So basically it's talking about the price you're going to pay for slander. Psalms 101, 7, no one who practices deceit shall dwell in my house. What does that mean? So if you're a deceiver, you're a liar, you're a manipulator, you're never going to have the peace of the Holy Spirit within you. 
You won't dwell in the Holy Spirit. You'll always have unrest within you. No one who utters lies shall continue before my eyes. Here is why God talks about liars. A person who lies hates the individual they are lying to. Why does God see this as shit? Because a person who lies, a person who is deceiving somebody, if you're on the receiving end of it, they hate you. And they do. The narcissist or toxic person, whatever you may be dealing with or have been dealing with in the past, they do not respect you. They don't even respect themselves. So they lie upon lie upon lie. So much they lie to themselves. Proverbs 26, 28. And if you hate another human, God views the hater as a murderer. If you hate another human... God views this as being a murderer. So lying lips, they don't think, they know your value, but in their sick, twisted, impulsive little minds, they only think short term. They don't think long term on how the lies will come back to them, how speaking untruths can backfire. If you're going through a divorce, prepare yourself for anything that may come out of their mouth. Prepare your paperwork, prepare your text messages, prepare your phone logs. The deceiving and the backsliding and the backbiting and the trifling behavior will be exposed through truth. That is the God's universal law. So don't defend yourself against these smear campaigns. Know your worth. They actually know your worth, but they just don't give a shit and have no respect for it. Much love to you. I hope this was helpful. I'm terrible about promoting myself. This is under its own playlist on my channel. I also do spiritual things here. I am Lady Virgo. Please do like, subscribe, throw a comment, even if it's a heart or I hear you in the comments or share your experience. I want to get this algorithm going on my channel. Share it out to the social media, media platforms that you're on because I'm not on, it, on any other than this one. I appreciate your time. I hope this helps. Walk in your truth. Shalom, shalom.